Hey everyone, welcome to the kickoff of my new culinary series called Rock and Rafi's International Cuisine Collaboration. It's where I seek out five other home cooks or chefs on YouTube. If they accept this collaboration, then I will pick a country and we will make well-known dishes that both you and I will love. Today's theme that I've chosen for this international cuisine collaboration, we're headed out over to Italy. Before we begin showing you how to make this amazing vanilla bean panna cotta, served up with a lemoncello berry compote, let me introduce you guys to my other colleagues for this collaboration. To start things right, let's head on over to Cooking with James, making us a Zuppa Toscana. Check it out. And leading us into the second course is the salad made by Chris over at Bottle Cap Barbecue. Chris is making an amazing green bean and blood orange salad. And if you thought that was it, wait till you feast on this next dish. Head on over to Mike's Culinary Cookhouse where Mike made some awesome bruschetta for the main course. Head on over to Cooking with CJ, making a meat lasagna. I can stop here because lasagna happens to be my all-time favorite pasta dish. But wait, there's more. We gotta accompany this with contorno, a side dish. Made by Melissa over at Mel Simple Meals, making Brussels sprouts, pancetta, and Parmesan cheese. Congratulations, you made it this far to the sixth course of this meal, which is dessert. So what does panna cotta mean? Well, panna cotta translated in English means cooked cream. This recipe is low in sugar, and for you gluten-free fans, well, guess what? This recipe is gluten-free. What a way to end this international Italian cuisine. Can't wait to start this up. So, what are we waiting for? Let's make some panna cotta. Okay, let's start off with two tablespoons of cold water and one package of gelatin sprinkled on top. Let it sit for about three minutes, and then, over low heat, Go ahead and stir the two together until it is completely dissolved. And remove from heat and let it sit. Now the vanilla bean. Let's slice it in the middle lengthwise and let's remove the vanilla bean seeds. Okay, let's go ahead and add two cups of heavy cream, one cup half and half, third cup sugar, and half of vanilla bean seeds and the remaining of the vanilla stick. And stir this until it comes to a complete boil. and remove from heat, adding your gelatin that we just put off to the side, and keep stirring until the gelatin has completely dissolved. Now that we're waiting for the cream to just cool down a slight bit, we want to put them in different types of ramekins. This one right here, I'm gonna love this one because this one has a uh, pyramid shape to it so imagine flat on the plate this on top just oozing with the compote that we're gonna make and then you can always use of course your regular basic ramekin this is about uh, six ounces and my favorite when I went to Italy for my honeymoon they had these moldings that they were selling Take a look at this. I love how this looks on the inside. So we're going to use some of this too right now. So it's going to give it that awesome shape. And with the hole in the middle, well, that just means you get to fill up some fresh fruits in the middle of this. So let's see how it turns out. Let's throw this in the refrigerator for at least six hours. And now it's time to make the lemoncello berry compote. Let's go in and add half a cup of lemoncello, half a cup of water, half a cup of sugar, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, and let it boil. 
once it comes to a complete boil, go ahead and add two cups of your favorite frozen berries. and continue to bring the, all these ingredients to a boil for at least 10 minutes. And if you're looking for a thicker consistency, then go ahead and add two tablespoons of cornstarch. Mix it well, and then bring it to a boil one more time, and then remove from the heat. Remove the panna cotta from the refrigerator and in a deep dish tray, go ahead and add hot water. What we're going to do is take the panna cotta and put it inside the hot water and let it sit for 10 seconds. And now with a very thin knife or butter knife, use this and scrape the edges to loosen up the sides. And then flip it over on a dish. It will come out with no problem. And now the fun part. Design this, create this any way you want. And to garnish this, you could use fresh mint, add more fresh berries on top, and even a raspberry puree. You can even use lemon zest to top things off. Looks amazing, right? I remember Having panna cotta back in 2006 when I was at the Amalfi Coast in Italy. Man, and that was when I fell in love with this amazing dessert. So what are we waiting for? Let's try this out. And by the way, you can design it, but if you don't have the time to design it, you can always put it in the ramekin and just put your berries and sauce on top. This is looking really good right now, and it smells good too. I can't believe how creamy, silky, pudding-like this is. It just melts in your mouth. The tones of the vanilla bean is subtle, but yet speaks to the characteristic of this Italian dessert. And the lemon cello berry compo just adds notes of flavor to this amazing, inexpensive, and easy to make Italian dessert. Also, make sure you guys check out my other colleagues in this collaboration, as I mentioned them in the beginning of this video. Write a comment. They would love to hear from you. And while you're there, don't forget to subscribe to them as well. And if you happen to be here for the first time, welcome. Make sure you like, subscribe, share, comment down below. I want to hear your thoughts of what part of the world you think we should make our next culinary cuisine collaboration. And lastly, don't forget to click on that little notification bell to be reminded when our next videos upload. And to you, YouTube home cooks and chefs, make sure you read your comments because I could be leaving you a message letting you know that I just picked you for the next collaboration. This episode concludes 
Italy. One down and many more countries to go. Which country are we headed to next? Well, we'll find out on the next Rockin' Rafi's International Cuisine Collaboration. And until next time, ciao.